so if you find yourself asking what settings to use for your chart and your time frame with a particular indicator, I would highly suggest that you go into the indicator settings and that you really play around with all the different possible settings. I've got the MA crossover loaded right now. Right now I'm using a setting of a 20 EMA for the fast moving average and a 200 EMA for the slow moving average. And this is pretty much the time frame that I trade New York Open, got that in the background. So if you're looking to find the best settings for whatever instrument you trade and whatever time frame or chart type that you trade, you want to go into the settings and you want to just play around with things and change the moving averages, change the numbers, and so that just completely changed the way this chart looks. And this looks like it would be a better setup for someone that likes shorter term trades. And the previous chart with the 200 moving average might be better for someone that's looking for a longer term kind of trade. I'm just going to keep playing around. We have a 10 EMA and a 30 EMA. So that looks pretty similar. I do like taking shorter term trades and this chart setup is looking pretty good to me. So once you find something that looks good for the day that you're looking at, then you want to scroll back to the previous day. This is the same time frame on the previous day. Uh, this looks pretty good. I'm liking the settings so far, so you go back another day. Here's the New York Open again. It's looking pretty good. There's a little bit of uh, indecision there, so I'll leave that on the screen there. Then I go back to my indicators. Maybe I want to try smoothing that out a little bit and see if I can get rid of this little chop right there. I'm going to click on the smoothing enabled on the fast and the slow. And that got rid of that unnecessary signal right there so now I'm gonna leave the smoothing on and I'm gonna keep checking previous days here's the open there's where I'm done trading usually that looks good so once you find something that's looking good you go back in time and you back test it and see what it looks like and as you're going back in time and looking through previous days you can keep adjusting the parameters until you find something that's pretty consistent time after time and something that you are confident that is going to give you an edge and if you want to take it to the next level there's an indicator from Ninza called hello win and this indicator will allow you to back test an indicator's performance even more and help you fine-tune settings as well as it will help you determine appropriate take profit levels and stop-loss levels so here I've got the moving average crossover loaded I've got the hello win indicator loaded and I've also got an indicator from Ninza called trading time pro loaded that's because I only want to test the New York Open starting at 9.30 and I want to test it for one hour. So from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. That's the only time that I want to test. So I've got those three indicators loaded. So in order to show how the hello win indicator would work in an actual trading situation, I've loaded 30 days of market replay for the month of August, August 1st through 31st and I've got my three indicators on this chart I've got the hello win indicator I've also got the trading time pro indicator uh, this is because I only want to test for trades taken during the first hour of the New York Open so from 9.30 a.m. for one hour 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. so I've got the playback data loaded market replay from August 1st through August 31st I've got 30 days loaded on this chart. 
So if we click on the Hello In tab up here, we get this box that pops up. I've already got a couple of conditions added. Uh, the first condition is the Trading Time Pro, so it's only going to look for trades between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. And then I've also got the Moving Average Crossover. I've got it set so when the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average, uh, we're going to be testing for all the long signals between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. And for instance, if you didn't get across during the 9.30 to 10.30 time frame, but it was already in a downward or an upward trend, and you wanted it to take a trade right at 9.30 no matter what, just depending on if the signal was bearish or bullish, you could change this to signal state and this to value. Basically, the signal state will print a 1 if it is bullish or a minus 1 if it is bearish. So we want it greater than 0, which would be a plus 1. I'm going to leave it like I had it with the fast moving average crossing above the slow moving average. I'm going to analyze 60 bars back. I'm on a 1 minute chart, so that's 60 minutes worth. Press the Analyze button and it works its magic. So here's the chart and what it's telling us is after we get a bullish signal, when we get a moving average crossover to the upside, price actually dips down on average. Um, seven minutes after it's reached its low, so that would be an area where we would be looking to get in long. We wouldn't want to get in right when the bullish signal printed. We'd want to wait about seven minutes and then look for an entry long and 24 bars later, 24 minutes later that's when we want to exit. So I'm going to be using those two parameters to enter in trades in the future because what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down market replay and then I'm going to connect to a live data source so we can see how this analysis from the month of August would play out if we were taking trades in September. Uh, but first, let me show you, besides this box, the Hello Win also prints detailed analysis on your charts, directly on your charts. So if I scroll back, you can see some of the analysis that the Hello Win does, and it's printing this line on your chart, the background color, that is in correlation with this bullish signal to the upside. And then you can see we're getting this kind of downturn for seven minutes or so and then it goes up pretty nicely there's about 25 minutes later and it's printing this for every day that there's a signal on your chart so now I'm going to connect to a live data source I'm going to change this to the current contract so here we have September 1st uh, this is the New York Open right there we get our first long entry at 944 so we wait seven minutes before we think about getting in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh bar, we could be looking for entries. Uh, right now, it's not looking so good. We're in a bearish trend. Um, we could possibly take a scalp trade back up to the 200 EMA line, get in around 235, put our stop below these lows, and target the moving average 20 points higher but I might have just completely skipped that trade it's looking pretty bearish here so that is not an ideal trade setup but the hello win has already helped us kind of invalidate this bullish signal by waiting seven bars before we look for an entry and by the seventh bar it's turned bearish so we're going to be very cautious and possibly not even get into that trade so let's check out the next day. So here's September 2nd. Uh, we're already in a bullish trend at market open. I'm only taking actual signals that print during the 9.30 to 10.30 window because that's what I did the analysis on. So over here at 10.14, uh, it's in our time window, we get a bullish signal. So we wait seven bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
right there we could get in at 440 and if we look see 24 bars from 1014 would be 1038 1038 we'd be looking to get out right there so if we got in somewhere around here around 450 1038 that's about 70 points right there that was a great trade so we can head on over to the next day September 6th uh, no signals printed here's September 7th market open again no signals printed if we were trading the pre-market you wanted to use our hello in analysis we've got one two three four five six seven bars we could start looking for entries there's a nice little bounce off this moving average cloud uh, definitely lots of ticks there for the taking so here's September 8th market open we do get a signal right at 10 o'clock so we want to wait seven bars one two three four five six seven so it's looking a little bit bearish uh, we might not get into a trade at least until it had a decent close above the 200 moving average on our moving average crossover indicator here so if we wait till we get this next bullish signal print at 1020 uh, count seven bars one two three four five six seven bars uh, it's right at the top of this cloud just kind of chops around there get in anywhere around there 316 you know, over 100 points move right there here's September 9th there's the market open at 930 we get our first bullish signal print at 938 we wait seven bars one two three four five six seven uh, we're right at this 200 moving average be a good place to get in uh, we get a nice pin bar that prints here and it's breaking above this cloud again so we're looking good let's just say we got in around 527 so 24 minutes past 938 would be 10.02 right here's 10.02 uh, we'd probably be looking to get out right around there that's right around whole number right around 600 530 to 600 that's 70 points so you can see how the hello win analysis is helping us with when to get in the trade and when to get out of the trade so then we had the weekend and now we're back at it September 12th uh, here's the market open a couple minutes later at 932 we get our first bullish signal printed so again we count seven bars one two three four five six seven and we are right at the 200 EMA we're still bullish great place to get in at around 12,730 and 24 minutes past 9.32 would be 9.56 this candle right here uh, we're at 12,800 so that's another 70 point move and once again our hello win analysis helped us with exactly where to get in and exactly where to get out so you can see the potential benefits of this tool that was only testing for longs um, I could also test for the short trades using this moving average crossover indicator.